I've been back to Hobby Lobby looking for yarn, and that should not come as a surprise to anyone. There are three Hobby Lobbies that are within reasonable driving distance of my house. The closest is 45 minutes away, so after my first video showing what I found down in Springfield, over the few days following that, I made it up to Albany, I made it up to Salem. I did not buy anything else at those stores because I bought a bunch at the Springfield store, but then my mom was over in Bend and went to that store, and so I have a new shopping bag full of yarn, and I'm super happy about that. So let's show you what she added to my stash for 2021's Hobby Lobby Yarn Clearance. This is more of the Premier Nordica, and she was calling me on the phone reading me color names, and I was Googling to find out what they looked like. Look at the self striping that does. I am spectacularly excited about this. I've got three skeins of this colorway, which is rose linen, and I love it. I don't think 546 yarns a skein, three skeins, that's what 1500 yards is enough to make myself a sweater. I'm kind of bummed about that, but I will find something to make. I had in my head when I bought some of this in the first Hobby Lobby trip, I was thinking that it was like the Yarn B self-patterning stuff that I bought year before last and made a shawl out of, and it's not. It's a thinner weight. It is a totally different texture. This isn't what I thought it was, and I think I must have dimly known that or I wouldn't have bought it because I didn't love the first stuff enough to buy more of it. But I am excited about this. So I got three skeins of this one. I have two skeins of the gray pattern from my last Hobby Lobby trip. And then I have three more skeins of the Spearmint, which again, isn't that a pretty design? The Rose Linen is my favorite. And this stuff is going to be a little tricky because to get the yarn to do these fun patterning things, you have to have the right gauge. And your project has to be the right length to get the yarn to play nice and do what you want it to do. So it's not going to be super easy, but I am up to the challenge. I am so up to the challenge. And then she got me some more cozy toes. I am midway through a sock with this stuff and I love it. I was skeptical about acrylic sock yarn, but this stuff, it is knitting up so squishy and nice. And I'm was thinking about going back and buying more of it because it's only $1.24 a skein. And I see potential for things like baby clothes with the long pattern repeat. I don't have the baby to knit for, but that's neither here nor there. She got me another skein of Sweet Minis in the Flamingo what is it called? Follow that flamingo. There's going to be a shawl or something out of this. I had a couple skeins from my store already. Some mimosa in gray. I had bought some in red. And there are three skeins. I'm going to make a shawl or a cowl or a something. One thing I did not do this year, and I know better, I don't know why I didn't do it. I did not compare dye lots. So as I get to actually working with these yarns, there may be some striping or something to make sure that all of it plays nicely together. This is Sweet Divinity Red Clay. It is such a great texture and such a pretty yarn. And I think I've only got two skeins of it. So maybe a cowl. As cheap as this Hobby Lobby clearance yarn is, I am just happy to have the yarn in my stash and take the challenge of how I'm going to use it up. I should have had this all neatly organized before I started filming. More of the Sweet Minis. This one is called Oh So Scandinavian. And again, 
I don't have a plan, but at a dollar seven a bundle, and this is 300 yards of yarn, there is something for me to make out of this, and I will figure it out. And I will enjoy, like I said, the process of figuring it out. Now, these are more of the sweet divinity. I've got Uncharted Waters. I've got Denim Dream. I actually have three skeins of Denim Dream. So that, at 243 yards a skein, these three skeins will make a decent shawl. The Uncharted Waters and Mountain Views are single skeins, so that is going to be a little more challenging, but for $1.37 for a skein that is 243 yards, and as nice as this feels, I will figure something out. And you know, I think my daughter has the entire collection of the One Skein Waters books, and I think she left them at home when she moved out, so... That gives me, so, there are so many options. Yarn is easy to use up if you set your mind to it. I love these Rapology hues. And she found me two more cakes of the Eternal Indigo. I am smitten by the texture of these things. I have not played with it yet. I just have a gut feeling that they're going to be fun to knit with. And I hope I'm not wrong because I bought a lot of it. So that is my yarn for 2021, the Hobby Lobby clearance. I love everything I brought home. I am only second guessing a few choices that kind of fluffy brushed hues stuff and the fresco one I got on the first haul. I'm hoping that they will knit up well. I think the fresco might pill just by the way it feels in the skein. I don't know, but it's okay. We live and we learn. And the first year I bought yarn at the Hobby Lobby clearance, I made some mistakes as far as picking up yarns I did not particularly like to knit with. And just because I don't like to knit with it doesn't mean others don't like to knit with it. So whatever doesn't work to, for me, I will pass along to my friends. It will get knit up. It'll be in my estate sale 40 some years from now. I don't know. I have plans. I am so excited about knitting with this. And there was another hank of hand dyed stuff that is not here. I need to find where that went to. I am super excited about knitting with the color Idyll, I think that's going to make a great pair of socks. I got it in, I think, every single color they had. I am super excited about these Yarn Bee Rainbow Rhapsody. These are 918 yard skeins. They're a really fine weight. I have got so many books of shawl patterns that I cannot, I cannot wait to play with all of this. The other one I'm really excited about is the Sugar Wheel Cotton Sparkle. I found one cake of Jenny's galoshes. And part of the reason I went to the other stores was I was hoping to find another cake of this, but there was none to be found of any of the Sugar Wheel Cotton Sparkle. Somebody bought it up before I got there. My daughter and I stopped back at the store in Salem, Oregon yesterday. That would have been July 5th. And I was really surprised by the selection of clearance yarn they still had. They had moved it off the shelves into their clearance section. But this is more yarn than they had on clearance last year when I went to the store when the sale had first started. I'm surprised this year it seems like even though I was getting to the stores long after they started marking things down, I think it was four or five days, after Springfield marked things down that I first made it to their store. There is a lot of yarn out there this year and it hasn't been quite the same feeding frenzy that I think there was in previous years. So if you wanted to shop and didn't get a chance earlier in the month or at the tail end of last month, 
you may not have missed it, check out your local stores and see what they still have. Let me know, do you stock up on yarn at the Hobby Lobby clearance? Do you knit through a lot of it before the next year's clearance rolls around? I am going to be going through what I got this year and what I got last year and the year before and the year before that. And like I said, I am excited about working with this. I can't wait. And as I finish projects, I am putting them in my Knitting Up the Hobby Lobby Clearance Yarn playlist here on the channel. I know a lot of these yarns aren't available new, but I also know that a lot of us bought it on clearance and there's a lot of it floating around out there. I have started to see at my local thrift stores where they're selling Hobby Lobby clearance yarn for more than it was bought for at Hobby Lobby. That confuses me and makes me glad that I've got what I've got. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle. I'm going to go do some knitting and I'll be back with you again with more videos soon.